Are you in New Ham? Are you thinking about getting your license? Check out the Explorer QRZ1 from QRZ.com coming up after this intro. Hey guys, so this is Alan from Off Grid Technology and unless you've been sitting underneath a rock for a while, um, there's a program out that I don't know if you've seen or taken advantage of. Uh, however, if you are studying for or you have taken and recently passed your technician exam, QRZ.com is uh, teamed up with Gigaparts to give out a free radio. It's called the Explorer QRZ1. Uh, I did get one of these in. I did get my ticket punched here a couple weeks back uh, and ordered one of these in. I wanted to take a quick look and show you what you can get if you go ahead and study now and get that ticket punched for your tech exam. All right, so this is the box that comes in. I have already unpackaged this, but I did want to show you something else that does come with it. So in addition to the radio, you get a couple of things in your package when you order it. Get that out of here. So right off the bat, you get your radio. Um, it does come with a battery and an antenna. Um, surprisingly, this antenna actually picks up quite well. Uh, I've been using this on a repeater that's about 15 miles away inside my garage on the first floor, which is quite surrounded by, you know, concrete and so forth. And I can still hit that repeater sitting here with no problem. <clears throat> In addition to the radio, you get the desktop charger. Now this is just a regular plug and wall charger, nothing fancy. Um, there's no USB, it's just a, a drop-in plug and wall charger. And you also get these this RT Systems software. And I'm not gonna show you the other side because it does have my serial number on it, um, but you get this for free. This is normally about a $30 value. Uh, to me, um, it, it works better than Chirp as far as there's a lot more customization you can do in this. Normally what I'll do is I'll use the RT systems to get my radio set up, my, my woke suns or oceans or whatever else, and then I'll, for minor changes, I'll just use Chirp while I'm on the go using a Windows tablet. But this is nice to have. Um, they do send it to you. Pretty good, you know, a little add-on. So let's get this out of the way. Zoom in here a little bit closer. And this is the Explorer QRZ1. Uh, it's a UHF, VHF, dual display, dual monitor radio. Um, you may notice it looks pretty similar to the GM13 from Baofeng, almost exactly alike. If I move them side by side, I'll show you here. They are almost exactly the same. And the reason why I'm saying that is for a good reason. So if you've used any of the Baofengs, the UV13s or whatever, um, as well as the GM30s, one of the things you like about them is it's got a USB-C rechargeable plug at the bottom. Now, the QRZ1 does not have that plug. So you're kind of stuck limited using the charging cradle, or are you? Watch this, guys. If you take off that GM30 battery or the the one from the UV13, which they're both the same. So here is the QRZ1. Here's the QRZ1's battery. See, no charging hole. Now I've got the UV13 battery here. There's your charging hole. We're going to mate it. Turn it on. Voila. You can use USB-C charging now for your QRZ1, which makes this a way better radio. Because if you're already carrying a GM15 or a GM30, now you can carry one set of batteries that'll work with all the radios. Great addition. I, I know this is because of the model they used. I don't think they did this on purpose, but kudos to QRZ and to Gigaparts. That was a fine, fine addition. I would like for the, to see them start selling USB-C batteries for this radio directly, but hey, in the meantime, GM30 and GM15 batteries work just fine. So one thing that's different with this version over the GM30 and so forth is the menu is gonna be completely different. Um, you don't get that Baofeng menu, you get a, a, you know, a little bit different menu. Um, there are, with the reset and the firmware, 27 menu options. 
uh, basically just gives you a control over your squelch, your dual on, your brightness, your beep, your power, your battery setting, your box, all the basic stuff uh, that you would want from a normal standard radio or normal UV, you know, UHF, VHF type radio. Um, none of the extra frills or anything, but um, it does have a couple things that I do like about it as well. Uh, one of the things is these buttons. So there's two buttons here on the side. Uh, there's your lower button and your upper button. So these aren't programmable, unfortunately, but what they do is they do something really good. So first off, the bottom button will put you in the right off the bat. So if you need to monitor something, uh, if you want to, you know, if you're trying to get a contact far away and you can't hear them, real quick pressure that button, you can go into full monitor mode. The other thing I like is there's a button up here at the top, which if you're in the nighttime, you push and it will bring on your lamp. All right, that brings up your, your backlight. If you double press it, you get your flashlight. Um, it's actually quite a bit usable. Uh, I'd say about the same as the Balfangs, but it's very usable. Um, another thing I liked is if you just push and hold it, your lamp will come on and then when you let go, it goes off. So if you need to use it for a momentary, allows you to get in, look around, do whatever you need to do and not waste the battery so much. Uh, the battery is a standard, uh, you know, lithium ion battery. Uh, this one is the LB75L. It's a 1400 milliamp hour, 7.4 volt, 36 watt hour battery. Uh, again, we are using the GM30 batteries on it as well. Uh, one thing in case you, you're curious, the GM30 batteries do actually work in the drop-in charger as well. Um, so you can use this to charge your other radios as well as any spare batteries that you may have. You can have one with your USB-C and then the one that doesn't have it charging. So yeah, I mean, it's a pretty good radio. I'm not going to drag this on too much more. Um, but if you are looking for a, you know, a, a good radio to start with, it has very good sensitivity. Um, I would say I get almost as good sensitivity with this as I do with my Motorola XTS 2500 as well as my Ocean radios. Um, and, and way better sensitivity than any of the Baofengs that I own. So if you're looking for something you know good to get into, you just punched your ticket or you're looking to punch your ticket, I recommend you to go take a look at this. Uh, great radio, I, I love it. Even just the way it is with the stock antenna, it's an amazing little package and you get it all for free, shipping included, just for passing your, your tech exam. 73 guys, have a great afternoon.